basically it's called Mira channel which has evolved in last eight years and it's basically a mobile channel for rural women on on maternal and child health using RMNCH plus which is the standard set by WHO on reproductive maternal newborn child and adults and girls so we believe that you know you know, uh, every man need a calculator, but I think a woman need more than a calculator. She needs the calculator to calculate her pregnancy weeks. She needs the calculator for immunization, for uh, you know, uh, for all kind of danger signs, and also for the menstrual hygiene, menstrual cycle, and and no technology provides any kind of calculator to women, which is so sad. So it means we are discriminating almost 50 percent of the population of the world because men only use calculator for stock exchange. So, you know, so our program basically it runs both on the smartphone as well as, you know, on the feature phones and it is more effective on the feature phone you know, because it, it really gives a very loud sound. So it is basically a channel which tells about five items, you know, about prenatal care of women, immunization, newborn care, danger signs, family planning, adolescent girls. And it has everything comes in the local language with animation and voiceovers and it can be used in number of ways it can be used through you know uh, so you know i am just going to skip these slides because uh, you know so as to keep the you know, keep the time frame so uh, uh, you know uh, it uh, it talks in the local language it talks in hindi you know if you go to uganda it talks in lusoga in luganda in kinyaru tore if you go to afghanistan it talks in dari it talks in pashto and it is basically it works in three modes also we are now providing a lot of stories based on every week what a woman should be doing these stories are the best practices you know for a woman to understand what she should be doing every week so so we have reached to almost you know these are the data which you know uh, which we have reached to the direct beneficiaries is the women and is the children but overall we have reached to almost 850000 uh, uh, indirect beneficiaries which include adolescent girls and women who are taking and who are seeking family planning services and it has you know you know the data is really immense you know but you know in terms of the impact it has really changed the state you know, uh, in one of the districts where we have done this pilot, you know, it has moved beyond the pilot. It has, it, it has covered almost uh, almost a population of one million in that district. And, uh, you know, the impact can be seen. Impacts are really very, very, you know, uh, you know, you know, uh, effective. So, uh, so uh, it has three modes of delivery. One mode is basically direct through the community health workers. We have the community health workers who go on the ground and work. So, uh, every village has a community health worker, and she, uh, you know, has to track the whole family. You know, do the registration of the women. You know. Uh, adult single children for immunization and then you know she goes and delivers information every week so so it is not only about technology we also believe that if you really want to implement technology there has to be change in the process in indian indian context we have three to four four visits which are being done by the community health workers but in our case we had we had 40 you know in 40 weeks we said that you know every woman will have to do a minimum of uh, 20 visits but what we have seen that even in 16 visits we can make a postulum that you know you know no woman has died when if she has visited 16 times in the 40 weeks of pregnancy that has been one of our uh, you know our gateway theories and which is based on over 1 lakh you know you know uh, almost 100000 pregnancies being tracked in last 3 years so, so it works. So, it basically works as uh, you know, as a tool for the community health workers who go and give the information in the local language about dietary information, about do's, don'ts, and medication. And and there are five risk questions which are asked every week. Which you know, in case of any emergency, it goes to the midwife. She has to take an action immediately. And it comes as a live database. Uh, as a as a live dashboard so so here in the dashboard it is like a live football match happening we can see at every minute what is happening in the village you know how many women are pregnant who are being addressed who are being missed out what are the actions taken by and it has a number of data on on immunization on on family planning on adults and girls and we also track that for example for for how many minutes the woman has seen a particular screen a particular animation you know and also tracking the gps location of the person so, so it has three models. It has a communication model which delivers purely communication through animation and local, vo you know, uh, local voiceover. We call the, uh, you know, it is a talking toolkit for millions of women who are semi-literate. Then it has a service delivery model which connects the uh, 
health worker with the midwives and give them information on, you, you know, you know, I connect them with the public services. And this has a revenue generation model. If the woman is going to the private network, the health worker can also take a commission from the private network, you know, once we are connected with the on the system and then we have a value added you know services here where we deliver games and stories for the women and for the community so at the moment we are not charging the communities but who are not part of the system ecosystem like the people in the urban communities or even even people in the west we are charging for these stories and this is uh, you know it is in helping us to sustain the model so so it is another model where every girl can be a mirror worker and we call it a uber health model which can again be a revenue generating model we have already tested it around around 100 girls and you know they are able to earn almost 50 to 60 dollars per month so uh, now we have globalized our program is going to uh, afghanistan and uganda uh, we are already present in in uganda for last two years in afghanistan we are present for last almost one and a half years and in uganda i'll tell you we are in the district of jinja and there has not been a single maternal death in last one year that is on record and uh, you know it is now being adopted by the ministry of uganda we are going to two more districts in two more languages and then we are negotiating with the government how it can be integrated in the government system we you know and we are at a very high level talks with the uh, health ministry there so so it is the toolkit which works uh, in afghanistan and these are few of the images you know you know i just you know go very very quickly uh, it's our team which is working in afghanistan and this is the team which works in our in uganda and then you there's a, there's a short video you know maybe it'll give you a better idea about the program of every 1000 babies born alive in india each year a shocking 44 die before they turn a year old this alarming but avoidable statistic is mainly due to a lack of access to health care for pregnant women and adolescent girls especially in remote and poor areas in the district of Mewat, just under 100 kilometers from the capital city of New Delhi, the situation is far from healthy. For over 50% of the population, the nearest medical center is between 30 minutes to three hours away, on foot. But mobile phone networks may change all that. The first strategy was to design good quality uh, communication strategies over mobile phones so that people start getting information in their hand. They carry their health communication tools in their hand and the second step would be then is what we are right now doing is to provision them tools to manage their own health and the third step would be to connect them with the service provisioning system of the uh, of the country a team of trained social workers under the mira channel project goes door to door the phone application uses iconic language with limited audio text support and provides previously inaccessible information on reproductive health, infant care and family planning, now literally at their fingertips. Once registered, a woman can track her menstrual cycles, prepare for childbirth through a week-by-week -week progress update on her phone. Possible birth complications can be flagged in advance and remedial action taken by health workers. Post-birth immunizations can also be tracked through the app. From this app, I can see what my development is, what it should be, and by how much it lags behind. Mm. Now that we can show them the benefits on the mobile phone, they have more belief and come for the immunization of their babies. Before the health workers, women would give birth to their children at home. When problems arose, they couldn't get to a hospital and they died. Today, due to the awareness created by the health workers, things are changing and the women are getting more confident. We believe that telecom is like a new lifeline. We believe that for a woman in a village, shouldn't be dying of dying while giving birth to a child because she could not connect to her doctor. This is our larger goal. The Mira project started in 2009 and received the Millennium Alliance Award last year. So, you know, I'll just go through the last... So, uh, you know, uh, this is one of the scenarios in Uganda. And I went there, you know, uh, almost a month back. And we have 51 girls there who have been named Mira. And this was a girl which I took in my laps, you know, so I never knew that her name is Mira. And then later I came to know that, that you know, 
the parents have named her Meera. So you, the impact of the program can be seen by how the parents are naming their girls and the children. <laughs> children. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs>